From afar, it looks just like another manhole cover. But this is a door to a parallel society, a world beyond the reach of the police or the authorities. And it is right beneath the feet of commuters in a European capital. The first sense is of a claustrophobic, stifling heat and a pungent, nauseating smell. And then you see the syringes and the needles everywhere. Presiding over all of this is Bruce Lee, the so-called king of the sewers. I want to stay here. I don't like it outside. I feel asphyxiated between four walls. Here it's different. Here is my life. For me, all is lost. I don't have any dreams and hopes, but they do. And for them, I do everything. I work for them to have a better life. Bruce Lee connected lights from electricity stolen from the main supply. He hands out drugs and cigarettes in return for scrap metal and other items scavenged from above ground. But almost everyone here is HIV positive. Many have TB and hepatitis. There are lice and there are fleas. You kind of get used to the heat and to the pungent smell down here, but what you really don't get used to is the continuous injecting of drugs all along these sewers. There are sharp needles on the floor. And frankly, what's most surprising at all, of all is that these people choose to stay here. Orlando has been living in the sewers for two or three years. He isn't sure exactly. He shows me his leg and the raw open sore the size of an adult hand where the drugs have ravaged his skin. He tells me he would like to go home, but he can't tear himself away from the sewers. Bucharest authorities insist the numbers of street sleepers have been vastly exaggerated. The head of social services insists there are barely 40 people in Bruce Lee's tunnel and they are supported by outreach workers, a needle exchange program and food parcels. They are not, she insists, abandoned by the state. I'm very happy that I'm living in a country that is a member of the European Union which values very much the human rights uh, perspective. Uh, we cannot force a person to come into a social service, a social service if that person doesn't want to. There are decent homeless shelters like this one north of the city centre and they do have beds available but they also have rules. No alcohol, no drugs, no violence. They are in the tunnels, they don't have rules, they are allowed to do everything they want. That is why they don't want to come here. Our teams have asked them to come here, but they refuse because they won't get the same degree of freedom here. In Bruce Lee's tunnel, it is drug addiction and a grim psychological dependency which holds them all together. He says he wants to see some make new lives above ground. But for many here, the surface world will never be more attractive than the oblivion of the drugs. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Bucharest.